Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the week ahead. The 8th through the 14th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up for you. May or may not be for you, but it may be. We'll find out here in a minute. This is for Leo. Thank you for your patience. What do we have for Leo? My next uh, reading segment, I'm going to use the Celtic Cross again. I'm just going to, I'm going to alternate back and forth just because I want to. <laughs> well, you guys may be in a partnership that you don't want to be in. Somebody may be focused on you that isn't the right one, or you could, or, you know, there could be some disagreements, okay? There could be some incompatibility, and I know a lot of you are probably like, goodbye, because you don't want to hear that. I can't make up what the card means in reversed. Somebody is in a partnership that is not compatible. They may be holding on to a partnership that's not incompatible, and it's hindering their progress with one that is. Because this card tells me that there is there is a soulmate, right? There is. There absolutely is. There is a there is a, a compatible partner, but somebody may be dealing with the wrong one still. You know, I was telling somebody today. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear this. You can't be friends with your ex. If you got kids, that's one thing. You gotta you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do, right? With for the kids. That's gonna that's gonna stir up a lot of controversy and I'll just block everybody that gives me shit so anyway um what i find is that people people are holding on to their ex thinking they can be friends and they i don't know why i'm telling you this actually i do this is a message from spirit somebody is hindering a love connection by holding on to their ex even by a thread. Codependency. It's like true love is waiting for you. But you can't see it if you're holding on to something that you're not compatible with. Even by a thread. Somebody's holding on to a false contract. Feel free to look up the cards for anybody that doesn't want to believe it. A false contract. It's like there's no happiness there. There's incompatibility. There's a lot of arguments. But it's somebody. It feeds the ego to have somebody. It's deception. It's a lie. And you need to master your emotions and let go of that codependent behavior. You have a better, more exciting opportunity waiting for you. An exciting new adventure, an exciting new path is right in front of you. You're being told to go for it. Move forward. Stop blocking a new beginning by holding on to the wrong one. 
you're cheating yourself of love. <laughs> Not realizing that your 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 best opportunity, what you've been waiting for is right in front of you. Lack of foresight. It's like you should be getting prepared for what you deserve instead of holding on to some sort of codependent false partnership that doesn't make you happy just because it's something. You are delaying an arrival of happiness. Blocking it. Blocking it. Cheating yourself of happiness. You got a new exciting opportunity. You may have a new flame. You may have a new attraction to somebody. But it is being blocked. It's being hindered because you're deceiving yourself. You need to complete that cycle. You need to make a decision. You need to stick to it. And you need to stop looking back at the unrequited love situation. That is something but nothing. You're blocking love. You can't be friends with the ex. And I don't know who that is for. But that is a message you need to hear. Because it's plaguing me to tell you. There's a new love here. There's a new opportunity for love here waiting for you. It's time to complete that old chapter. Stop blocking the completion so that you can feel alive again. I think you got a new partner waiting for you to, or, or the her God or whoever has a new partner for you, and it's like you're just you're you're in some false contract that you don't have the strength to break free from completely. You know, you're holding on by that thread because of codependency. He! Ha! Oh. Oh. That is codependency right there. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I need some attention. Lack of self-worth. Lack of self-esteem. Lack of self-confidence. Isn't it time for you to enjoy life? Isn't it time for you to bring abundance? Aren't, aren't, aren't you supposed to be happy? It's like... You're losing. You're losing here. You're losing your own self-worth. You're losing your self-confidence with each passing day. You have to turn away from things that aren't stable and secure for you. Somebody is staying in a situation that just for the just for the assets, right? I don't want to lose the money. I'm afraid to lose the assets. I, you know, I can't afford it on my own. For some of you, some of you are in a false partnership where there's no love and you're holding on just because of the home, because of the house, because of the money, something like that. But there's no happiness at all. It's like there's there's barely even a commitment. You may be looking outside of the relationship for sex or the other person may be because there's just so much lack of togetherness here. There's like no abundance at all in a relationship. But somebody is reluctant to let it go because it's something. It's something. It's time to wake up. It's time to stop blocking the truth. Somebody's avoiding the truth, lying to themselves. I'm sorry. It is what it is. I can't make this shit up. Delays. 
delaying a soulmate from coming into your life or allowing a soulmate into your life or because of holding on to some sort of fake partnership. Universe sees that shit. This is, this is denial. Somebody's in denial, blocking the truth. You know, you have to make a painful, stressful choice, and that includes facing your fears. Somebody doesn't want to face their fears about independence, about money, about legal issues, about breaking up, about what everybody else will say. You know, not having anybody to talk to. Loneliness is a factor here. Well, what if what if I grow old alone? What if I don't find anybody? That's 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 poor, poor, pitiful me. That's not going to happen. There's there's somebody else here. There is somebody else here. But somebody is holding on to a false contract because they're weak. There's a new opportunity here. There absolutely hundred percent is. But it's, 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 it's being delayed, it's being blocked because somebody is in denial about what they're really truly worth. Letting ego and pride get in the way because you'd only stay in a situation that you aren't happy in because of ego. <laughs> Seriously. The only reason that you would stay in a home or a partnership or a relationship or in a codependent situation is for to have your ego fed. If you're not happy there, if there's no love, if there's no passion, you don't want to be there, but you're staying anyway, it's because you need your ego fed. There's lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth. Therefore, there's lack of self-love. Therefore, you don't get the love that you deserve and you continue to de deteriorate because love fuels happiness that's where without love you are going to deteriorate if you continue to be attached to a karmic unhappy situation that is not making you happy you're going to continue to deteriorate you have to find the strength and the willpower to to know your worth and hold your head up high and face adversity and take care of yourself and not let people that don't love you that you're not happy with hinder your own happiness and but right now you you're you're allowing it you're cheating yourself you're cheating yourself of happiness and you know why because for one because of because of the money because for some of you it's because of money it's because of stability for some of you, it's very much codependency. 100% a lot of you, it's codependence. To have something, anybody, anybody. Attention. But there's some sort of abuse here. This is abuse. Neglect. Somebody's definitely not telling the truth. Somebody's lying. And it's time to get real. It's time to get practical. It's time to be responsible. You have the skills to take care of yourself. You can do it. You know how to do it. You just have to be strong. You have to find the discipline and the willpower to act with integrity and do the right thing for everybody involved. I feel as though somebody has a big opportunity to broaden their horizons, stop blocking the truth, be honest with themselves, and take action. Stop thinking about it. Move forward. You have a big, huge opportunity waiting for you, Leo. Stop holding on to the false contract. I don't have to tell you what this is because you already know. But there's been a lot of denial, 
a lot of victim mentality, a lot of uh, self-deception. It's time to make a decision and start following your heart. If you want love, you can't hold on to the false contract. You have to block the false contract. Block the unhappiness. Block the false contract. Block, block, block. I'm telling you what. And that means block it for real. Let's get real. You got a bigger, better opportunity that has just like flown right into your life. Probably an earth sign. Could be an earth sign. Could be another fire sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Something that's really exciting. But don't think the universe doesn't see every little thing that goes on behind the scenes. Because it does. And if you are not ready, they will delay it. You have to make a decision. To focus on the future, not the past. Master your emotions and restrain yourself from dealing with people that you don't really want to be with. That you just communicate with and you deal with because of codependency. Honor yourself. Value yourself. This is the queen of value. Value yourself enough to take action in regards to what is best for you. Don't dumb down your value just because you're lonely. <laughs> Somebody is blocking a soulmate connection because they can't cut a cord. They refuse to cut a cord. And you want to know why? Lack of courage, lack of strength, lack of willpower, lack of self-worth, lack of self-confidence. Unable to let go. Can't restrain themselves because they don't know their value. Swallow your pride. Look society in the eye and say, I matter. I matter. Leo, that is what I have. I'm going to get you one of these. You need to find your courage to stop looking back. Stop. Unless you're too weak. If you're too weak, feel free. And if that triggered you, that was the biggest wake-up call of them all. <laughs> this is great, okay? Discover your life purpose. This is this is where you're meant to go. You got a soulmate connection here. You do. Waiting for you. It's waiting for you. It's really sad that you can't let go of the wrong one. Start asking yourself what is the meaning of your life? As a soul who is having a physical experience, you are here to grow and learn. You are being asked to immerse yourself in this life by expanding, stretching, and understanding your reasons for being here. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following her or his destiny. Let me read that part again. Nothing is impossible for a soul who is following her or his destiny. Your guides, angels, and higher self are constantly communicating with you through signs, feelings, people, books, etc. Follow your hunches. You are being given important guidance, which may show up via a strong feeling to travel somewhere, to speak to someone, attend a seminar, write, pay, etc. No matter how far-fetched your inner guidance is, you need to listen. 
Your soul's purpose includes a combination of experiences that your mind doesn't understand, but that your soul needs to process to learn and grow. Some of these experiences will be enjoyable and heightened. Others will be challenging and cause you to struggle. But through them, you will know yourself. Give yourself permission to focus on what really makes your heart sing and put your intensity of emotion into attracting what you desire. You have a new attraction here. You have. You got you probably got a new exciting partner that has come into your life. A new exciting opportunity with somebody that, you know, is very attracted to you. There could there could be growth could come from this. But I I really have to tell you you're going to have to face a struggle. You're going to have to refrain from hanging on to any false contracts that are hindering your happiness. And that is going to take a lot of strength. You can't be friends with your ex. If you have kids, you can you 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 can talk about the kids. You can do whatever you want, but that's just you do whatever you want. If you think you can, then whatever. Then that's hey. I don't agree. All it's gonna do is bring up old wounds over and over and over again. Keeps you stuck. Keeps you trapped. It's reality. Of course, I am the queen of reality. That's who I am right here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm all reality. You're getting reality check right now. You don't have to like it. The reality is, your ex is not your friend. not love. Good luck.